Okay, Ricky, excuse the crudeness. It's crude, because I'm just sharing with you. But anyway, look, Ricky Jenkins, he is the smart city link as an affiliate, as a associate, right, whatever you want to be, of the Japan Exchange, representative, personal brand. Now, look, the buyers, okay, these are the businesses. They are going to support society. And the sellers, they are going to be the relationship management. These are the people we're training, the university people. And look, society as a whole they're going to get the health, wealth, and relationships, optimization, and personalization in your society. Now, look. Check this out, right? We're going back here. And, uh, yeah, boom. Okay? So, I am the AI for you right now, Ricky. I am just suggesting to you, hello, Ricky. Nice to meet you. I'm the AI. And this is how you're going to kill it. You're going to crush it. All right. So Greenboro, think about it. When these Japanese exchange students are going your location, these are the places they're going. Right. So regardless, we're going to reach out to these places. And they're all places that we're like, yo, how are you doing business right now? And how's your business? Now remember, these businesses, just like us, just like you, they're trapped in the buy, don't buy binary that society is. The way we guard against that is, like I said, the three-way satisfaction, okay? That's what I'm saying. Recognize the three-way satisfaction where right now, Buyers, instead of trying to sell, can't sell. You're just going to support these people that we're getting, who are the sellers, who are the personal brands, who is anybody who reaches out to us. And like I told you, right, I got the Dash Next system, okay, the Dash Next blockchain, the health wealth relationships, okay, also the app, but the health wealth relationships, it just kind of happens naturally. Anyway, so look, these are the specific businesses I got. I'll just check. I mean, I, I usually <laughs> I go through them usually, but I mean, maybe you already see them in a way, but I'll just show you. Boom. Interlink, International Institutes, right? They got the university. See, I got these Pakistani people. They're already there. But they come towards us, okay? But don't even worry. See, contact, boom. You know, that's how we get the information, who we got to mess with. But, all right, look. Then we've got here, I mean, these are all just things. But as I said, I'll automate this. Don't even worry. What's to show? Nonprofits of Greenboro. And obviously, there's tons of them. But like I said, don't, I mean... <laughs> It's not like you even have to do anything. You're just there, but you're already engaged in business. Look, Ricky, you're a heavy hitter. You're busy maybe, but that's the thing too is that there's only so much you can do. So I'm saying that we just set in place for Greenboro. We're hitting up all these basic things who are the nonprofits, but how do we start? Look, your city hall, okay? So, boom, your city hall is who I first reach out to, essentially. And, dude, I'm just telling you, when I looked at all these places, these are the best websites. You're so lucky, really. Greenboro and Charlotte, they are hitting. I can't even imagine how much stuff, because the Maker's Lab, the franchises... Dude, I just saw so much good shit going on. And not to mention in Charlotte, too. But then, brother, you're going to Miami. And like I said, too, I'm the one reaching out to also Jetro, the Japanese associations. So, I mean, there's nothing you got to do, really. It's like you're already doing stuff. I'm just telling you, though, that right now you're in Greensboro and Charlotte. 
You, we have the ability to have you are the one, right? I'm talking to you. So even if I'm doing the some work, I don't, I don't need to take credit. I need, I want you to take credit, dude. I want you. I mean, you're like Nate. I'm doing fine. I don't need you to promote me, dude. It's not that I need to you know, help you. Obviously, you're fine. <laughs> you know, you don't need me. I'm just so joyed that you collaborate with me. And as a friend, I'm just saying it's like, we can have you get all the benefit of all these businesses and all these businesses in Greenboro and Charlotte. But when you go to Miami, Miami is actually where they're more involved with the Jetro that I'm talking about, dude. So, like I'm saying, when you go to Miami and you come with you this Charlotte and Greenboro. Now, look, you might ask yourself, look, OK, see, when I see these things, Greenboro and Charlotte look like happening places to be places that if you got a job there, you wouldn't even care what's going on outside. But only you can tell me different. Maybe you're telling me places in Greenboro, places in Charlotte, maybe they're having economic times. Uh, you know, maybe there's people going through tough stuff. I still say we got to, you know, go appeal to the universities. But like I said, all these places are just places Japanese people are visiting anyway. But what I'm saying is that when we visit these places, these are all in the eight hour, eight hour workday, eight hour workday. When we go there, take a video and use e-commerce, we turn them all into four hour workday jobs. So this level of optimization, and you do it before you go to Miami, which is sick. I was in Miami. It's fucking awesome. They got mad beach and shit and mad people with dough. It's Florida. Are you kidding me? So you could go there with this wind beneath your wings and heat up. But look, dude, the Maker's Lab, the Moonlighter. Dude, I'm just saying like, okay, I know you're a busy guy. You don't got to like look at this stuff. But if you did look at this stuff, or at least the way I look at this stuff, it's just sick. So I mean, sick meaning awesome. Like, okay, I'm going to New York. Now, look, I don't know what your impression of New York is, right? But I got to admit, you know, these New York people, they got a real full of themselves. They think they're the shit. But when I look at Charlotte and Greenboro and Miami, you guys got better stuff going on. And motherfucker, you are Ricky Jenkins, dude. I think that's a tight name. That's awesome. And I just think you got some shit going on that New York people don't know nothing about. Dude, the South. Look, when I was in New York, I was just like those Yankees. <laughs> I call them Yankees. But... Look, when I left America, I realized that New York people are just brainwashed. The South got it going on. I mean, there's pluses and minuses. Yo, New York, we do have something. We have see social skills because of Broadway. Because we live life like we're it's a movie. We live life like we're the main character, you know? But I don't know if the South is like that. South might be a little bit more. And I don't even know if you consider yourself a Southerner, North Carolina. I mean, it's not South Carolina, but that, but it's not Tennessee either. And anyway, you, you know, I want to know about that stuff. So I'm a New York dude. You're Ricky Jenkins. And we got this other guy. Now, I got this other friend. His name is Enrique. He's from North Carolina. But now he lives in Silicon Valley. So look, I... I've got a lot of people that if we set up some automated lead generations and the lead generation, I think, comes from this thing. It's called Human Pal. I don't know if you like it, but I'll show it to you. No, it's not. It's called Human Bot, something like that. But I'll show it to you and maybe you could turn me on to something different. But this thing is a cheap automator, actually. It's not even big. And like I said, it's only there because we're doing the work of classifying. We just need to put these business in the automated lead generation systems. You flip a switch and now know what? It just kind of gets like these people who say a traveler comes here. All these places are on their schedule, but it's all according to like what people want. Public art. See, we can just, I can just help all these artists. Like, 
the way I see it, we're, you know, anyway. Now, I'm gonna, I'm, I don't wanna go on too long. I'm gonna stop this video. It's just like, I, I can't go through all these links, just like you don't wanna go through all the links, but, um, you know, I've got some other things going on and I just wanted to put this out there so at least if you didn't, you know, if you were just by yourself and looking at this, it's a pile of gloop. And I know everyone gets information overload, but this isn't for you. This is for the automated lead generation systems. And this is for you to set up essentially this pipeline of Greenboro, Charlotte, and Miami, which you don't got to do nothing. It happens through you. But then when I go back to New York, I'm also collaborating with people off of that. And then there's so much more to show you. Like I haven't told you about the Japanese companies I have and the chip manufacturing because we got the Taiwanese and it's just gonna make things global, dude. So, and I know you're into the real estate, but look, we are getting houses to make it so they can be stayed in by these travelers. And we have a local crypto so that we're making it so that you know, and all these things can be facilitated by that dash neck system of that's $27 per license, one time fee, and then all these people. So we don't want all these people from like ELCL classes and things to be starting their dash next system because again, this is good. The dash next is only going to be for the sellers. Okay, but we want it to get funded by companies. So we approach companies, we tell them, look, all your people, we're gonna get, how many employees you got? 20, good, 27 license, 20, li 20 licenses, that's 27 times 20. You know, it's like a one-time small fee, but then we'll, we'll, we'll guide them. And people are self-directed because like I said, it's a DAO. So I don't want to go too much on, but you got three three locations that it's just firing me up. So I don't know, man. Uh, talk to you soon.